Good evening, folks, and welcome to the horror. Good evening, folks, and welcome to the Horror Corner. I'm your host, Sean Patrick Hirsch, and this week we are doing another tag video. This is the Top 5 Horror Films from 1980 tag. Uh, this was created by Full Moon 1973. He tagged me in it, as well as Jen's Reviews from the Grave tagged me in it and, uh, during the Horror Hangout live stream we did. Uh, so let's get to it, shall we? We got some honorable mentions, which Full Moon also said to do. And I've got three right here. Uh, first one's going to be Terror Train. Starring the lovely, the incredible Jamie Lee Curtis. And this was a big year for her in horror. Uh, this is an excellent slasher film. I highly recommend Terror Train. It's got some amazing atmosphere. It's a pretty damn creepy little slasher, you know. Can't forget, of course, David Copperfield making his film debut. Next up, another one with Jamie Lee Curtis, uh, Prom Night. Another classic slasher, in my opinion. Although this one doesn't seem to get as much love as it did at one time. Uh, I think it's a, just a fine slasher, you know. And you got Leslie Nielsen in there as well. Uh, great to see him in a slasher film. Uh, I really enjoy this film. I think it's classic slasher in every way, you know. Next one is a very interesting one. Inferno, directed by the great Dario Argento. Uh, and I do think this is an intense film. Uh, it is a little batshit crazy at times. It's a little nuts. Um, you can't deny the look of the film. The visuals are extraordinary, you know. Uh, very similar to Suspiria in, a, in that respect. Uh, is <laughs> the, bright, the bright, vibrant colors are almost to the point of being ridiculous, but it's so beautiful to look at. It's like a painting, uh, and it's brutal as hell as well. Some of the nastiest kills in Argento's filmography, I would say. All right, let's get to it. The, the top five horror films from 1980. And uh, my number five pick is going to be City of the Living Dead. Of course, directed by the Italian maestro Lucio Fulci, the gore master. Uh, and he did a string of phenomenal zombie films. And this one is no exception. Uh, can't say enough about the atmosphere, uh, the incredible gore effects, and this one scene of a woman vomiting up her own intestines. <laughs> it's insane. Some of the gore scenes in this are just insane. Like one guy getting a, a huge drill right through his head, and you see all the gory details, you know. Uh, some of the nastiest scenes in this film don't even involve zombies, which is the funny thing. Um... But the zombie effects are great as well. Uh, you see a storm of maggots at one point. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Uh, awesome, though. Uh, next up, of course, is a classic that everybody knows. And that is John Carpenter's The Fog. Uh, you, what can you say about The Fog? I mean, the atmosphere is just insane. It's unmatched. Maybe the greatest atmosphere in horror history uh, in film. Uh, it's definitely up there. Uh, awesome soundtrack by uh john carpenter you got jamie lee curtis once again so jamie lee curtis appearing three times in this video <laughs> uh but of course you got janet lee her mother in there as well and you got uh tom atkins everybody loves tom atkins <laughs> uh, yeah fantastic movie but the star of this film of course is adrian barbeau uh excellent direction by uh john carpenter of course uh, definitely one of his best films. Uh, next up is going to be my favorite standalone slasher film because there was never a sequel made to this film, and that is Maniac. Uh, definitely a dark and gritty slasher film um, that really gets inside the head of its killer, you know, inside his psyche. Uh, and there's a lot of callbacks to Psycho in here, of course. Um, 
but it's just so well done. Insane gore effects by the master Tom Savini. Uh, an excellent, um, I think, Oscar-worthy performance by Joe Spinell, you know. Next up, you can't deny the importance of this film, and that is Friday the 13th, the original classic from 1980. A lot of people put this low on their list when it become when it comes to the Friday the 13th franchise and I don't quite get that I mean because I think this is a perfect slasher movie the atmosphere in this movie is the best in the franchise there's one scene that's amazing you know when it's a pouring rain dark outside and uh, there's this eerie scene uh, where someone calls out to this girl in one of the cabins in the woods and uh she's like help me it sounds like a little boy you know us as the audience thinks it's jason Voorhees, but uh we don't know <laughs> and that's the eerie uh aspect to this scene it's very beautifully lit and amazing cinematography in that scene and this several scenes like that throughout this film. I think it's a creepy slasher. It's a great whodunit um, because we don't know who the killer is till the end. And uh, I really like that. And of course the big reveal of it being, spoiler alert if you've not seen the original Friday the 13th, <laughs> Betsy Palmer as Pamela Voorhees. That's right, Jason's mother is the killer in this movie, not Jason. Um, but this certainly establishes the Jason lore in the Friday 13th franchise. This is where it all started, and I think it started beautifully with Friday the 13th. Uh, now, to me, this is easily the best film uh, in 1980 as far as horror is concerned. It's probably my favorite movie period in 1980, and that is, of course, The Shining, directed by the legendary Stanley Kubrick. Starring Jack Nicholson in, in one of his most infamous roles. Probably his most infamous role. Because, I mean, the classic lines that he gives in this movie. It's so quotable. Um, but not only that. This is just an amazingly directed horror film. The claustrophobia that it creates is unbelievable. It's unmatched in horror. Um, this is truly an epic horror film. And uh, Stanley Kubrick. You give him any genre and he, he will knock it out of the park, you know. And he does so here. Uh, he's just amazing. And you got a great performance by Shelley Duvall as well, you know. Such an amazing film. The uh, cinematography is unbelievable. The, the tension, the suspense. Uh, this movie is scary as hell. It's really creepy. Uh, it's just a masterpiece and, of course, based on the Stephen King novel. Stephen King didn't like it, but I certainly do, and millions of other people uh, think of it as a masterpiece, and I'm one of them. It's an absolute five-star classic. So The Shining in that number one on the top five horror films of 1980s tag, uh, created by Full Moon 1973. I'll have the link to his original video below. Definitely give him a shout-out, uh, give him a sub. You know, he's a great YouTuber. And thank you for joining me, Sean Patrick Urshan, in the Horror Corner. Tune in and stay scared. Folks, don't forget to grab your Sean Patrick Urshan gear and represent the Horror Corner. Also, check out these awesome mugs we have. Perfect for your coffee. And definitely check out the Horror Hangout live stream t-shirt. And represent... The Legacy of the Horror Hangout. Check out the link in the description below of this video.